Morning all. Okay, let's have one or two games uh, this morning. Um, so, maybe I'll try the reverse grob. Ah, he stopped the grob with g5. I can play h6 for g5, uh, just for fun. Is he going to play h4? Nope. He's letting me play the g5 move. So can I try and undermine white on the dark squares here? Causing confusion already. Loss of about 30 seconds. So c5 and queen b6. I think e6 here was a good good idea. Uh, in another game, just to try and get the f5 square with d5. If white's just giving up that f5 square, this is quite interesting as well. Okay, so I'll just take that f5 square if he's going to relinquish it. Back, can I play f5 in this position or I think I'll castle as long as I'm not getting mated on the light squares. I suppose there's knight takes g5, that could be a concern. Play f5 here just to try and shut that bishop out. Now there's knight g6 on the card or knight f5. Try and get knight f4. Oh, he's giving me a knight f4, that's nice. My light squares are a bit of a concern. Uh, okay, knight h5 might be a problem at some point. Uh, this bishop's hemmed in at the moment. How about queen f8? So maybe knight h3 check for rook takes f3. Uh, might be on the cards. Or e5 if he takes check. Okay, that's not happening here. If I take here. I suppose d takes this rook's uncomfortably placed. Uh, will you take my my knight on f4? How do I get this bishop out? Aha. Okay. I'm on an f2 here. How about just a rook? I'll play rook h4 just to stop. Knight h5, I think. I think I've got a reasonable position. <clears throat> so if I just get the bishop out, queen f4, put the rook over here, start to build up pressure like that. Ah, okay. I think I want to stop uh, rook f3, so I'll play. Uh, I think I'll play this. <clears throat> Check. Ah, is that dangerous? I hope not. What's he actually threatening? I hope it's not much here. Is my rook victimized? Knight h5? Mind you, there's takes, and I can take on h7, I can just take that. That's a bit optimistic. Okay, just get rid of the queens. Okay. Nice blockade. I think, uh, yeah, this was. I don't think uh, there's too many problems here. From bishop c5. Oh, I think it's over. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe I'm threatening to take now, and I'll just keep keep that with him for a moment. H4 and then rook G4. Okay. 
Okay, extra bishop usually helps. Still h falls on the cards as well to sort of dense the pawn structure here. Um, keep the pawns intact for a moment. Well, he's got access to the seven franc. Try and stop that. Okay. Okay, uh, I think just if I go for an h4 soon and my king to g4, that could be one way. Yeah, I'll just get my king to um, g4, I think. There's not too many issues with that. Mind you, there's g4 every time I step here, there's g4. Ah, uh, okay. There's some resistance. So g4 on king g6. Uh, now there isn't. I think that's easier than my king's coming over here. Mind you, king c5 coming up. King d6. I can step back with rook e8. I don't have to do that. Yeah, this is a fight. Can I use my f pawn? I give the a7 pawn to try and queen my f pawn. Get this e5 pawn as well. Could be handy. I can kick the king one square away, and then go for this check. Okay. Now there shouldn't be too many technical difficulties, I would hope. Uh, check. Not over yet, really. Hmm. I think it's over. Okay, yeah, just just experimenting with the opening. He's resigned here, so uh, right. Um, yeah, interesting opening. It's kind of it's a bit risky on the light squares here, so I'm not sure I'd try this at home. It's a bit too risky on the light squares. Um, yeah, there's a tactical blunder. His bishop's kind of blocked in here, just spoiled by the queen, so that's a, an important tactic. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that one. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.